Hey everybody, this is Rafi from the Zurb Foundation team and I want to teach you about tool tips today. So you're probably going to use tool tips here and there on your projects and it's really nice to have a built-in style for that. So uh, if you want to know what we're talking about, a tool tip is something like this where you could hover over it and then it opens up this little box that gives you some more information or context about what the thing is. Uh, so these are very commonly used on icons or other text that may be a little more ambiguous and you want to provide a little more information. So the tooltips in Foundation have some different features, so I want to show you how to set those up. So we'll take a look at our example here. It's some tooltips in a bunch of text. So if we hover over this one here, the word lunatic, it's someone who's not using foundation, obviously. So you can see this tooltip opens to the right. So let me show you what the markup looks like for that. So I'm going to zoom in here just a little bit so you can see that. So we have our span with a class of data dash, sorry, a span with a data attribute of data dash tooltip. So this tells the JavaScript that this is going to be a tooltip. And the aria has popup equals true is an aria attribute that uh, basically tells a screen reader that there is a pop-up here. And the class of has tip is what actually styles the tooltip itself. And you can see that it has a class of right. So I'm going to come back to that in just a second, but that is something that you can change. Data dash disable hover false. I'm also going to explain that here in a moment. Um, but the title is what's important. So the title attribute is actually what's being used to populate the text inside of the tooltip. So as I hover over this, you can see someone not using foundation. That is actually the text here uh, that is inside the title. So you can change that to be whatever you want. That is your contextual tooltip text. And that just basically, that span wraps the word or the button or the icon that you're trying to uh, give a little bit more information on. Now a tooltip is made for uh, more information. It's not made for content like images or links. Now you can probably put an image in here, but um, something more rich like a link is um, probably better served with a drop down instead of a tooltip. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the available classes. So right now this has the right class on it. Now if I change that to the top class, uh, as you can see here, and once that refreshes there, we will have a tooltip that goes to the top. So the default behavior for the tooltip is actually to open to the bottom. So if it has no positioning class, then it's going to open to the bottom like this, but we can set the class of top on that and have it open to the top. Uh, it started with the class of right, but we can also make it open to the left, depending. Now, all this depends on the available space. So uh, if there's not enough available space on the side that you want it to open to, uh, Foundation will figure that out and flip it to the other side. So just um, be aware of that. So it is responsive and it will detect the edge of the screen. So. You don't want that tooltip to overflow off to the side, so it will uh, figure that out for you. Okay, so now that I've hopped back over to the docs, we can find the JavaScript reference. You can click on the right side here and it'll scroll you down to that spot on the page or just scroll all the way down to the bottom and we'll find the plugin options. So one of the plugin options that you'll probably use the most is data-disable hover. So if you want the tooltip to only open on a click, then you can use this data attribute. As you can see, there's lots and lots of options here. So you can find the one that you need the most, data-v offset. This is going to um, control the spacing away from the element that the tooltip opens um, horizontally or vertically, so h offset or v offset. 
So let's hop back over and use one of these data attributes. So we'll add it right on this span element. I'll just paste it in here, data dash disable hover. Now we need to set the Boolean. So it's either true or false. So we're going to set this to true. So once we do that, now this tooltip uh, around the word lunatic only opens if we actually click on it. So we can click on it and then it's going to stay open until we click outside of that area. So that is how the JavaScript data attributes work for the tooltips. So there's a lot of JavaScript data attributes that you can use on the tooltips. And if you're using the SAS version of Foundation, there's lots of variables you can use to quickly theme your tooltips to look the way that you want. So it's all really fast and simple. And that concludes the tooltip uh, component. If you want to learn about all the components in Foundation, we teach this in our Intro to Foundation class. I'll put the link below, so make sure you check that out. And thanks for watching.